Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to permanently get rid of mould damp on the walls. Yes guys, I've had this problem for so long and I found a solution. After reading so many articles, forums online, this is the only solution that actually works. As you can see, this is the damp, the mould on the wall. So what I did... First and foremost, I use this. You can use any brand, but I use this one. Make sure it's mold and mildew blaster, something similar like this. So what you have to do, you, you spray it all over the mold on the wall, and then you leave it, leave it for like half an hour. And then you spray again. <laughs> And then leave it on for another half an hour and then what you do after that you can get a sponge or you don't have to in my case i didn't have to because it says there's no need to scrub make sure you get something similar to this no need to scrub so anyway i sprayed it two times on the wall and then it minimized the mold to this certain extent to this and then what I did afterwards, I used this product. So I used this uh, paint and varnish stripper. What you need to do, you need to get a tray. And then uh, you pour it in there. It's some thick liquid. And then with the paintbrush, you paint all over the molded area. See, this is what I did. And then after one hour, you apply another coat all around the molded area. And then after that, with your scraper, you start scraping away. So this is what I did on this side of the wall. guys had a very similar issue on the other side of the wall see there is some little dots of mold and what you're going to do now you're going to spray more of that mold killer you're going to spray and this time with a sponge something hard you're going to scrub it keep scrubbing it use bleach And then what you need to do afterwards, when you get your paint, don't just apply paint over this fresh board. You need to mix the paint with some water, apply a coat, so it's like watery. Let that set and then you can apply a normal coat of white paint or whatever colour you want to. So I'm going to stop this video. And I'm going to show you once it's uh, painted with water paint. Water paint mixed with water. And then you're going to see the result. So as you can see here, there are the dots. See the mold. So I've not yet applied the spray mold on this, but I will do. I will show you anyway once I've done it. So as you can see, I've been scraping away more getting to the root of the mold. As you can see, it's coming off.
you soak it like this as well. It's like a tough sponge. Make it smooth. Make it smooth. See, as you can see, I did spray some mold spray and it has minimized it. See, in some areas, but obviously I've not applied a lot. Plus I need to scrub as well. So, let me finish sc scraping everything on the wall and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so guys, I've just finished scraping all the mold off the wall. As you can see here, look, it's all removed. So now I'm gonna spray mold spray on the wall and just scrub and just remove all that excess mold left over. So once you finish spraying, leave it to set for half an hour. sponge it's hot here Guys, so what I've done now, I've put paint into this tray and I'm just putting some water, mixing it, you see? And then just stir it. Make it into like a milky paint. I've started it already, but let me just show you what I did so far. See, I've applied it onto the wall where the plaster was. It's like a milky paint. I'm gonna add more. So the first coat, you have to do this, otherwise it's gonna come off if you just apply normal paint. It's gonna look all nasty and bubbly and it's gonna start peeling off and damaging the plaster on the wall. So make sure you mix the first coat with uh, water and then you apply it onto the plaster, so just like this. And let this set for like half an hour and then you can apply a normal coat of paint so you will need uh, around two coats of paint to blend in properly so on the second coat of paint just coat the whole wall and then, uh, yeah it will, look, it will look good okay guys I'll continue later 
So after the first coat of milky paint. So guys, this is the end result. So as you can see, it's not bad. It may need another coat. It all depends how it is tomorrow morning. But as you can see, it's a big difference. I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.